Hi, I'm Amy. I'm Delia. And I'm Wendell. And welcome to Yes, But Why Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. Wait, I was okay. going to say, oh, my celebrity crush is Adam Scott. Oh, yes. Real into oh Adam God. Scott. Tell me who you Adam Scott is. Uh, he plays from ben Parks and Rec. And, Rec. Oh, okay. and Party All Down. Right. I got you. He's in Boy World. It. What? What? He was in Boy Meets World. He was one of the bad guys. He was. was he? Remember Harley K- Kine, the the biker dude who was like in yeah. eighth grade. Well, when he went away, they replaced him with like another bad guy, and it was Adam Scott. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Oh, and he so funny looked to be a long fun. Man. I was no. a, I was a uh, I was a Ryder Strong fan myself. Ooh, yeah. Wait, was this that after the two bad guys? Because there was like yeah, the skinny maybe. little dude and the big dude. They were like the bullies. Those were the sidekicks. There was like the main bad dude, gotcha. and then okay. it was the sidekicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I feel um, about Delia's Boy Meets World uh, references the way I feel about all Friends references. Like I love them. Like every time you mention Boy Meets World, I'm like, yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, we grew up with Corey Matthews. I, I mean, like, literally side by side with Corey Matthews. I was older, so, like, while I'm in love with Ryder Strong, it's, like, kind of wrong that I'm in love with Ryder Strong, because, like, I'm probably, like, 25, and it's, like, a high school show, and I'm like, yeah, what's up? But like, he, to prom. But he was probably, like, the same age, though. I don't know. Like realistic. Years later, uh, when I lived in New York City, oh, I saw man. him on a subway, and I was like, no one, and, like, it was before inter- your phone worked in the subway, so it's like, I'm just immediately alone, and, like, and I just can tell no one, and there's no <laughs> way to take a picture of it. And it wasn't like a thing. And I was like, and as soon as I got up out of the subway and called my sister, and I was like, you're never gonna believe what I just saw. I was so excited. Gosh. Have you guys checked out Girl Meets World? Is it any good? It's not that bad. Yeah? I watched the first few episodes. Have we talked about this? Girl I feel Meets like World? We have. No, maybe not. Ella told mm. me to watch it, so I started it, and I didn't like it. What did you think? I I did like it. Uh, I'm, I've seen probably like a handful of episodes now, maybe just under ten, because my brother, who's older than me, really likes it. Um, but I think that they did a good job in like doing the kind of the form, like the mm-hmm. coming of age formula with characters to relate to yeah. the kids that are growing up now, and mm-hmm. it's it's in a way where it. Like it's like I feel like Disney Channel shows now are just really, really bad. Dude, yeah, they're and, and this manufactured one, really. Yeah, and a very sterile, gross. Yeah, it's kind very of, sterile. And I felt like these kids, like it feels more like natural, like conversations that you would have as a kid if you were living yeah. in today's, if you were a kid in this time yeah. period. But it also does a great job for people that grew up with Boy Meets World because it still incorporates those characters. Yeah. But not in a really distracting way. Like, yeah, those are her parents. Yeah. So they make appearances in episodes, yeah. but they're short, like five minutes, and they move the scene forward. Yeah. They're not just, like, hanging around, and it's just like, oh, why are you still here? Yeah. It's not about you anymore. It's still I a think. kid's show for kids. Yeah. It, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it does a great job of doing that. I mm. really like that it does take basically everything about Boy Meets World and puts it in a context where there's a female lead, and, like, and it's for, like... Gl- kids today and all all those things, but I do think that the only thing that really bothers me about the fact that they made it about girls is they're not willing to make the best friend who's the Sean character, because it's all just literally Boy Meets World plot lines played by two little girls instead of two little boys. They're not willing to make the Sean character actually look poor, and that's like a big focus of the show, is like the have and the have not. Mm -hmm. And so she looks like Hayden Panettiere in Nashville in yeah, every episode. She, she has does. nice clothes. She's her is she boy crazy? Is, done. is she like boy she, crazy? She, like yeah. what's her problem? I, th- I think so. They say that she's kind of crazy or something. Yeah, or like and her, to her, her being dad's absent. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, her dad it's, is absent. She's promiscuous. How old are these children? Like I think 13? she's older. No, no. How old are the characters? The characters are probably like thirteen. Are they starting middle like school late in the middle of the school, series? I oh, okay. I feel yeah. like. And Corey is the t- that's another thing that bothers me. Is Corey is the teacher for and- yeah. And I know they did this in Boy Meets World too, and it just I was too young for it to bother me. There are twenty kids in this class and he only ever talks to the two girls and the Minkus character, whose name I don't even know. It's like oh, Farkle. Farkle. I hate they... that kid. Farkle. I fucking hate that kid. I, I feel like that's a standard trope though, that they're not gonna talk to every student. Oh yeah, I mean, of course. You just sort of have to create the 
uh, illusion that things are the way they are and then just talk to the only ones. Yeah, you know, SAG. You just can't be paying everybody to talk all the time. Uh, plus, let's be honest, you want to write a show where t- where 17 kids talk? Yeah. No, that's why real life sucks and TV is good. Well, yeah, but see, okay, so that would make sense if they, like, dropped in in the middle of class, but something, they, like... The bell will ring, they'll sit down, Corey will talk to the, his daughter for t- five minutes, and then the bell will ring and they'll leave. Like, I'm like, this yeah. is stupid. <laughs> Those are also very good points. I don't... I still like like the show. <laughs> it's That's okay. So I mean, all I'm saying is I'm, I'm an adult who can't ignore... Ch- kid show things. Has Feeny oh, done you know that what for though? Is Feeny like I what think, characters have returned? They the showed story? they showed him. Is Ryder as strong like a ghost? in it? I, I he comes in later. Okay, oh, yeah, I'm okay. pretty sure. I, I, I remember I seeing a thing yeah, where Sean, he agreed to come back for this or to do. Ryder, if you're listening, I'm just saying I'm available. Don't tell my husband. You can ride Eric, her strong. Um, Eric, hey. the brother, was in it. Uh, what's his name? Eric, he, um, no, uh, Eric Friedel. Is, was, is what? First Will Friedel. Friedel. Will Friedel. Yeah, he's been in it for like two episodes at least, and he looks pretty similar to how he looked on this show. Yeah, he's just been voice he was acting. An older he hasn't really like done anything. Kid, to so he looked like the man he was going to look like. It's yeah. the it's the little kids when you see them and then they grow up and you're like, whoa, I had no idea that that child was going to turn out to be that adult. <laughs> the best episode of Boy Meets World. Do we all agree on it without having to say it? Is plays with squirrels. <laughs> Do you remember it? No. no. What? How do you know? Okay, they're in college. Tell us about it. And, and uh, they like, it, it, I think it's just a dream Eric has because none of them are talking. And he has this dream in the future where Eric is this like um, idiotic s- sage. Yeah, and he's like, call me plays with yeah. squirrels. And and he like, I don't know, he only wears his underwear. It's really good. Does he but have a beard then, and, yeah. he, and he does okay, a yeah. and he does this whole speech at the end that ends lose one friend, lose all friends, lose yourself. <laughs> and it's so good, guys. I remember so many soliloquies from Boy Meets World. At the end when Mr. Feeney goes, class dismissed. I remember all those lines you're supposed to remember from that <laughs> fucking show. <laughs> I, I, wow. My my I think my favorite episode, I don't remember every single word from mm. it, but was the uh they did like a Halloween episode where it's kind of like spooky. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Mary Poppins, yes. yes. The yeah. one Jennifer Love Hewitt where it's yeah. scream and everybody keeps dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because it's after Corey keeps dreaming that he kills Sean, right? Or am yeah. I wrong? Is that no, a, no. I don't remember. No, because you find out episode. that Sean was the one killing everybody because he was scared that Topanga and Corey were getting too close and he was like that was the whole thing is Sean was the killer at the end, even though he killed himself technically. Like, Sean rips the mask off the killer, and Sean is staring back at Sean. The whole thing is a dream that Sean had. We went deep on Boy Meets World, guys. Yeah. My favorite one is one where his brother is a teacher, where uh, where Ben Savage... Or no, oh Seven. fuck, Fred Seven. Yeah, like, the teacher said, "Topanga." Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he's creepy he in Topanga's teacher, room. What? And yeah, and that's, uh, that's all I remember is that he, yeah, they're sitting on her dorm bed. Oh, oh their dorms are so. Her. He touches her on the leg. Yeah, and yeah. she's like, "Fuck you." What's even creepier wow. about that is you take that into. He also made like a, a made-for-TV movie like on her Lifetime calls like called Nobody Would Tell, and it's got a DJ from Full House, Candace Cameron. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then he plays like her jock boyfriend, and this had to have been maybe a t- maybe like a, a year, maybe two year difference between that episode and this TV show, at most. And he's what is he a? Mm? But he um he and like what, like what like Candace Cameron's that her name? No. What's her name? Candace Cameron. Cameron. That's it's what Kurt I said. Cameron's sister. I said Candace. Cameron. Is it? Yeah. And is she also crazy? I, I was going to ask you guys if you knew. <laughs> she um she she falls in love with uh with. Fred Savage, mm-hmm. Who and and uh, oh, yeah. and put your headphones on. And um, it he's like a, like a popular football player, and she's like a nerd or something. And they, she starts mm-hmm. noticing her, and she loves it because nobody's ever noticed her before. And then he starts, they start getting into arguments, and then he starts pushing her, and then he starts beating her, and then it's just like all this physical abuse and all this oh my mental abuse, and then he ends up like killing her. But it was just. There's a crazy movie, and it uh, 
Yeah, it's so weird that that came out. Are we talking about Fred Savage? Or yeah. Ben Savage? Fred Savage. Okay. The older one. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, Savage yeah. or Savage. So he wrote. I think after. Uh, he didn't, he didn't I write think it. after Fred in. Savage did Wonder Years, he wanted to be real serious. Because if you ever see Fred Savage, like, on a Law and Order, I mean, of course, the most famous person is the killer. Sorry, spoiler alert for every Law and Order forever. <laughs> but, like, when you watch him, he does play a lot of real creepers. But I think he just digs on being weird characters. He also kind Although, of still looks like a little boy. Yeah, I feel like he needs to play... He gives me creep fun. Yeah, no, he's still very short and, like, childlike. I, just, I mean, I don't think I'd murder you in real life, but, like, I could play a real good creeper. Yeah. He also directed a lot of episodes of It's Always Sunny yeah, in Philadelphia. Sure. So, like, he's been doing a lot of, like, comedy yeah. stuff, too. So he's a little like, weird. Ben Savage worked on Capitol Hill for a while. Really? Oh, I can yeah, see that. Yeah, he was a politician assistant or some, some job that really exists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, speaking of Candace Cameron, when you guys were talking about Boy Meets World and Girl Meets World? Yes. Um, it. I know that was weird to be surprised, but somehow I was like, that doesn't sound right. Uh, about uh, Full House and Fuller House. Mm-hmm. Did you guys ever watch that? All of it. I, didn't watch watch I watched all of it immediately. Three episodes. Three, maybe four. I yeah. want to hear about why Wendell was so excited about Full House. I loved Full House growing up. I'm I don't into know. it for I, sure. And, and it really, it, the thing is, is like it it kind of did what you guys said with Girl Meets World, where it, exactly. like, it, it did the formula exactly. Yeah. Like it's, it still just has parts where it cuts to a baby just being a baby, and the whole audience is like, "Oh!" Or that's mm-hmm. like that's a laugh. They would use a dog just sitting there for the whole live audience to laugh at. Like, like we don't ever do that in TV anymore. It's that's never just like point. watch this dog do a cute thing or go like. Plus, like, I'm sorry, space. but whoever's in charge of casting, I love every one of those children. Like, I will watch them forever. I will watch them through their heroin days. I will watch them until they're weird looking. <laughs> yeah, Jody's and Sweet they're doing, doing Broadway, right and they're like. I want to be serious. Yeah. I want. They are so adorable and so so great. The yeah. little kids in the like, show. Or yeah. The, okay. Yeah, because there's uh, instead of three girls, you know, there's two boys, and then uh, Kimmy Gibbler's daughter is a girl. Clearly, yeah, yeah, and they, and they also have a baby. But there's have yeah, three right boys now. and a girl. And it's really funny to see the boys doing the boy stuff. Yeah, know? because yeah. Kimmy moves in. Kimmy and Stephanie move in with DJ very much the same way that Jesse and Joey moved in with Danny yeah. in the very beginning. And, and yeah, so the only in there, the first it, episode is there any sort of callback to Full House to be like, get it, this is a connected situation. Yeah. And the guys are all there and they do a couple of little sticky things. But then they disappear and you really never see them. They like appear at different uh, yeah, times. like one episode There's Joey helps snacks, out. By the way, you yeah, what is the snacks? One. Yeah, that's those that's, are candy uh, peanuts. Boston old style peanuts, and then we've got some of this trail. It's like well, not, whatever. Or? Yeah, Gardetta. And there's a... Gardetta. Gardetta, you got some Gardetta. <laughs> puffs. They're a little crunchy. Um, and, then, and I'm just yeah. glad to see Jody Sweeten's doing fine, like because she was having a rough bit there for a minute. She's doing. Yeah, the ladies good. are looking good. Um, and I'm sorry, but like. There's a dance number like every other episode. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. everything yeah, great about that. Yeah. Okay. I'll All I want is a dance boys. number. They like, do a lot of organized just, dance numbers. Yeah. I think I my award dance numbers. My award for best looking realistically is Kimmy Gibbler. Really? Is she hot now? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, she's she looks good realistically. Yeah. Because I feel like I feel like she was like I'm on Full House, and then I maybe uh, I couldn't find work. Hey, I'm accepting that now. Fine. <laughs> and then she went and lived a life, and they called her back. She just stayed in like fine shape. And then they called her and were like, Hey, we're gonna come back and do a thing. Are you in? And she thought, Yeah, okay. So she looks older. But not terrible at yeah, all. She looks like, she looks like a person. Older. Like she yeah. lived like a life, and then got called back in to do a thing and said yes. Yeah, and I admire Jody that. Whereas Candace teeth. Cameron looks like a Barbie doll that's maintained being a Barbie doll her yeah. entire life. Yeah, she hey, she looks she's great. Beautiful. She is beautiful. I mean, she's but just yes. she's too much. Yeah, yeah. And then I she's think like so gorgeous. It's like okay, we get it. Yeah. And I think to and your uh, stupid brother loves God. We get it. Uh, this is gonna be really mean, but I think that Jodie Sweetly. I think like she looked. She looked fine. And then she found out she's going to be on the show again, and then maybe she got a lot of work done. Jody Sweet. Really? Yeah. 
That's how I feel about it. She's got new teeth from the drug use, I think. Well, I thought she's thought got new boobs. boobs. Yeah. And they Wait, I think she's always had big it. boobs. I'm so sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. She's Wait. got humongous boobs. No, yeah. yeah, but they're not like they're not something she paid for. She had. Who are you she, looking at? She had dumb like her like her her boobs got way too big. I'm very looking. Early on. I'm looking what, at like pictures the of Kimmy Gibbler so as friend. an adult. Andrea Barber is her name. Uh, she looks pretty toned. Yeah, like, I mean, now, I guess maybe. her yeah, mid section is normal. Kid. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean... Does she have she, children? I feel like she's pretty Hollywood hot. I mean, like, Hollywood mm-hmm. ugly girl hot, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, say actor like, hot. Normal. How about that? I don't know. You know how Vanessa yeah. Bayer's always like, they will only cast me as the hideous best friend. 